This is where it all started, around the harbor areas of Los Angeles. I spent the majority of the past two years documenting and taking part in the building of my newest bike. The only thing more special than that day when the bike was completed were the people involved and the journey getting there. This is the story about the ground up build of the Harbor Town Bobber. It's been a really long time since I had a cool bike and it wasn't long after filming Chopper Town I just thought I needed one for myself. I have to really thank Cuddy for putting me on the road to the Harbor Town bike. He told me that Jimmy White had this really cool Triumph Roller just sitting in his shop. It was Matt DeRat's bike, Jimmy's right arm guy and I just thought I had to go check it out and I have to say literally the second I saw it, it was just love at first sight. I mean, this thing was beautiful. The lines, the stance, everything was perfect. Just a couple of days after that, I found this really nice abandoned cafe project. It was a 1971 Bonneville 650. And so now I had just two bikes sitting on my patio. And it was that day, Zach and I were just sitting around these bikes thinking, man, it would be great just to document the entire build. And that's exactly what we did. We took the motor out of the cafe bike and we sent it off to Meatball down at Hell on Wheels. And later that became the movie Brit Town. And for the roller, we really wanted to showcase a few great builders we had in mind. The first guy on our list was Jay Bird. 
He's truly an artist in every sense of the word. I mean, I remember the first time I saw one of his builds, it was just like something out of Mad Max. Um, his style is raw, bare metal throughout the whole bike. He had tiny little handmade intricate parts that were just amazing. And he doesn't even just put time and effort into these little parts, but he puts a lot of time and effort into the function of the bike. I mean, his bikes are made to ride and ride fast. What do you think about my uh, like my wassail? Yeah, I like I it. I bought this from Billy. Okay. Uh, Cuddy's friend. Oh, there's a whole bunch of Billy, man. Billy the painter. <laughs> yeah, he's nice. Billy guy. Cruel. Yeah. Is his name. And so, I wanted to kind of like a little bung here, yeah, to yeah, sort yeah. of not level, of course, but kind of go with the line of the bike a little better. Just like eight inch. Instead of just on there. Eight inch of gap. Yeah, maybe. All right. Just to bring it up. Mm -hmm. A little bit to make the bottom of the tank level. Yeah, to bottom. bring it up a little bit. Hey, 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 hey! Don't, don't, don't! You know. I'm just saying, rust right there. Yeah. Just leave, leave it alone, you know. Leak in Leaking is not a big issue right now. She said not yet. <laughs> John's a John. John's a young star, you know. Yeah, he got lot, you know, lot, lot talent, you know. Yeah. I always, you know, like to support the young builder, you know. Got a lot of, you know, different idea. I love it. Yeah, John and me uh, met at the uh, what's it called? Huh? Bike a beat off? Bike or build off? <laughs> yeah, we uh, we walk together, build the bike. Get a lot of stress. <laughs> yeah. I've been welding off and on since I was 18. I went to college right out of high school, learned how to weld, took auto body, stuff like that. Basic knowledge courses to learn how to do the things. But it, it's mainly hands-on to learn a lot of the stuff. I've been reading magazines, motorcycle magazines, hot rod magazines since I was a kid. I'd sit at home, instead of doing my homework, I'd read a magazine about a car, or how to build a motor, or take, take a transmission apart, changing seals, doing this little, little stuff like that. All the little tech articles in the magazine, they help. So. I'm going to put two bungs in here. Old school way of doing it, hiding your mounting hardware. Drill through here, put a bung in. Once I put the bung through, put a little plate around it and weld along the plate here, as well as the bung already being welded to the tunnel. It's gonna give it strength and rigidity through the whole thing. We use 16 gauge steel for this, and this is pretty damn solid. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Um, it's also gonna help by way of cracking, so it doesn't crack. Like the prop. Like everybody mounts the rubber mouser tanks on the newer bikes, but for years and years and years, all the old school guys just ran it this way. Fred Hernandez is one of my buddies. He's been running his tanks this way for a long time. Um, I've seen Billy Lane do a lot of tanks this way too. So 